Hello, Traverse City Christian School parents, and welcome to Tuesdays with Tyler. I'm Tyler Van Scapen, superintendent here at TC Christian, and I just want to give a couple updates on um, different illness, uh, COVID-related items um, with different conversations we've had with Grand Traverse Health Department. And the first is uh, the student illness policy, and that's something that's been shared before. That's included in the link that this email is going out uh, with as well. And just a reminder on those symptoms that we're um, asking for parents to check within their children each morning before they come to school. Um, a temperature of 100.4 or higher, sore throat, new cough, um, diarrhea, vomiting, abdominal pain, or new onset of severe headache, especially with a fever. Um, and it does give a disclaimer to um, anything different than baseline. So for students with chronic allergy or asthma, cough um, for that portion, that's something different than the baseline. So uh, we've appreciated um, parents asking questions about um, should I be keeping my, my child home today or not? Uh, so if you are ever wondering, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, we're continuing to, to navigate this together. Uh, and if you have questions, again, please reach out to us and we can, we can help you with those. Uh, the second item, uh, one thing that Grand Traverse Health has been looking at is um, should there be a positive case within a school building within the county? Um, it is, it's likely that uh, they may ask the school to close down for um, two or three days or maybe a portion of the school to close down for two or three days while they do contact tracing. So if there would be a positive case in the school here, um, instead of having um, all the students come back again the next day when there would have been students exposed um, and mingling then again with each other, uh, the health department would maybe look for us to close down a portion of the school for a couple days while they do contact tracing so that they can identify anybody that may have had exposure and ask those individuals to remain out uh, for the 14 days. And then everyone would come back again for um, those two or three days after that um, and continue school. So just, just as a, a way to um, you know, make sure that those that need to be contacted due to exposure have that time that they can get contacted and that they are out for the 14 days for quarantining. Um, and in, the, in that time frame of school not being in person, those two to maybe four days max, um, TC Christian would move to a, a distance learning model for a very short period of time. So again, if we would have a positive case here, it's likely we may need to shut down a portion of the school for a couple days um, just for the contact tracing to happen. Uh, but then we would resume again once all those individuals had been contacted. So again, thank you for uh, the many questions you guys have asked. A lot of great questions. Many of them are situational based, but we're here to help um, you guys process that within your, your kids as they um, come here every day. But again, Great to see them every day, um, coming in the school building, eating lunch together, and just enjoying being uh, with their friends. Uh, hope you have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you guys again soon.